Echo Delta Alpha. Was that Kilo Golf 4 Echo Alpha, is that a Roger? Kilo Golf 4 Echo Alpha, is that a Roger? Echo Delta Alpha. Echo Delta Alpha, Roger, Roger, what's the name there? Echo Delta Alpha, Roger, Roger, what's the name there? Henry, Henry. I copy that as Henry, is that a Roger? Roger Henry, and what's your location, sir? Roger Henry, and what's your location, sir? Just west of Nashville. All right. Uh, and what radio are you running today, Henry? It's, uh, and what radio are you running today, Henry? It is a Penwood 820F that's been in the basement on a shelf for several years now. And uh, I pulled it out uh, about a week ago. About 50 years old. Roger. Roger Henry, I just went to my local antenna and you blew me away. You like about uh, uh, 15 over on my local antenna up around uh, Indiana and uh, 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 Louisville, Kentucky, right? Right in that area. You're really, really loud now, Roger. Well, this radio, as I said, is 50 years old ish. I think 49, uh, I think it was made in 1975, and uh, I put it up a couple of years ago, but I got it out this week, and I've been uh, going through the uh, tune-up manual for it, which is, there must be 200 adjustments to this thing inside, um, and it, the, the manual, believe it or not, from 1975 has mistakes in it that they've never corrected. But anyway, that's what it is. It's a Kenwood 820F. Over. Roger, Roger. So you do not have uh, onboard EQ. Is that a Roger? Does not, no. Yes, sir. Well, let me just say that your dynamic range is right on, uh, spot on at about 3 dB. So your average percent of peak modulation is just beautiful at about 80 to 85 percent. So it's uh, a real loud and uh, it's on frequency. Roger. That's good to know. Um, because the way this... It has a VFO and a VCO, and the way those things work is not straightforward. So I haven't been able to um, adjust the uh, frequency. And it has a digital display that for its time, I mean, it's got more chips than that digital display than most computers do today. It was very difficult pulling that analog. It's basically a frequency counter. And uh, driving a vacuum fluorescent display. So uh, it's not necessary, but uh, it was a feature of this radio. It was one of the first ones with a, a digital display. Over. Roger, Roger. Now it might be just barely a little low, just barely, not enough that uh, most folks would even notice. But uh, you know, just passing along, just barely, slightly low, I think. But uh, sounding really, really good. Well, good to know. I've also got a 520 that I'm getting ready to pull out next week and uh, see if it uh, will fire up as well. But uh, I've had a lot of these Kenwoods. Ironically, these things over the years have been stolen during moves by people thinking they were getting their hands on some really top electronic gear, not understanding that they're boat anchors and uh, are barely worth what it costs to ship them. Over. Yeah, but on the other hand, uh, that's sounding better than about uh, maybe 50% uh, uh, of the rest of the world uh, as far as uh, audio transmitting. Uh, you know, uh, so it, it is, uh, though it's older, it's uh, sounding just, just beautiful, huh? you know, and, and that's the whole thing about it. You got a radio that sounds beautiful, it can be a hundred years old, who cares? It's, you know, what's coming out that makes a difference. Yeah, when I opened this up, I realized that I must have recapped 
the high voltage cap some years ago because they have my initials on them. But other than that, this has nothing done to it. It has a sideband filter in it uh, from the factory. It does not have a CW filter, but uh, that doesn't seem to matter to me, really. Um, yeah, I like these radios. I think if, uh, if your radio is not keeping you warm in the shack and serving as a nightlight, then it's not doing its, uh, it's not doing its full duty. Yeah, that's it, Roger. Now, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, what's your mic level right at the moment? Uh, it's a 6 out of 10. I'm not right on it, though. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, uh, pull off uh, the mic. Uh, is that a hand mic you're running? No, it's a desk mic. Roger, pull off that desk mic about 2 inches and let me hear you. Okay, well, that's a lot further out. Uh, I don't know what that sounds like. Sounds sounds good. Uh, I think uh, there might be better, maybe a compromise between where you were and where you were just then. You know, somewhere about halfway between there, Roger. Okay, I will keep that in mind. I'm fairly loud, so it doesn't take a lot of volume. Uh, but uh, I'm running up. Uh, dipole off of my back deck that that thing can't be more than 15 feet off the ground so it is what it is Roger's doing you a great job and I think you'll like your recording if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9 VKV followed by the word logbook will take you to this recording uh, and it'll be cut number one in a series of 2900 and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow Roger Roger, thank you. I'll take a listen to it. So, 73, so this is KG4 EDA. Roger, sir. 73. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.